a lot of people, this time of year is for staying indoors. It's cold, dark, and wet. For us, well, we're built for the outdoors. We're prepared to face the elements and test our rigs in the name of adventure. My name is Sean, and this is the story till now. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Also by White Rock Dodge. And in part by What's up guys, hope you've been having a good week. We're getting ready to go out on another adventure and by me, I mean myself and my friend Casey250 who came over from Vancouver Island to go on an adventure with us today. Good Casey, morning. How are you vlogging? Uh, shower of Eddie. How are you feeling this morning, Casey? Early I, morning for you, coming over on the ferry at six o'clock. Dude, I need a Starbucks. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We've got the truck loaded down with a lot of gear. Uh, we also got some new hats. Not for sale at dirtyanddangerous.com, but we do have uh, <laughs> these hoodies available for sale. The Dirty and Dangerous hoodies, as well as Story Till Now hoodies, stickers, and that kind of stuff if you're interested. One of the things that we're being aware of today is that there is an extreme avalanche risk. So we've altered our destination and we're going to have to be really careful of any overhanging slopes, uh, ice, stuff like that. But it uh, should be a good day. We're going to camp tonight. Let's get on the road. All right guys, we're at the trailhead. It is wet out here, a little bit rainier than we would have liked. We're gonna get things going. you need going. this for your lens? Yeah, I might need a lens rag. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Ah, much better. <laughs> wow. As we headed up into the mountains, even at low elevation, the snow was starting to fall. Water crossing here. destination is a lake on the other side of these mountains. We have a lot of elevation gain to cover and likely much more snow to work our way through in order to get to camp today.
size of the snowflakes are unreal. They're just huge, huge snowflakes. Looks so good. I love being out in this stuff. The road's super slippery though, and we're not even in the mountain pass yet, so uh, things are gonna get interesting. Yeah, conditions are gonna be interesting when we get on this mountain pass. Snow should be a little deeper, so it'll be a little easier to drive. A little bit of loss of traction trying to stop. Stern four low, it's better. This is slick, so you might want to go four if you're not already. Oh yeah, I am. Four wheel sliding back there. <laughs> Alright, let's go real slow. I'm on your tail. Look at these flakes, they're huge! That's these cornflake freaking sized snowflakes. As we made our way through the pass, it kept dumping heavy snow on us. Moving up the main FSR, conditions changed from slick to a bit deeper snow on the road. Alright guys, we're stopping to take a break for lunch. Out here in the snow, really nice out. Casey's gonna make uh, some of his famous KC250 bagels. And uh, we're gonna enjoy those. I'm not actually making the bagel though. We're a little over halfway through this mountain pass and about to start descending down to the lake. To get to where we want to camp, we'll have to cross this river. Luckily, the water level is quite low right now, so we can choose a narrow and shallow spot to cross easily. We made it to the lake. This spot is absolutely beautiful. Been eyeing this spot to camp at for a while. And it's snowing into this green water. Epic. Uh, we're gonna need some firewood, so I've spied myself a, a tree on the ground over there. I think we're gonna take the trail wrecker over, strap that up that tree and drag it over to the beach so that we can have a beach fire. What do you think, Casey? Sounds got the plan. Is that the plan? Put the DeWalt to the test. Yeah, that's the plan.
really good. Yeah. Good man, look at this. It's beautiful, beautiful out here. here. It's a it's winter so wonderland. Like it's wicked, man. Uh, that was a nice drive through the pass, eh? Yeah, I've never so done nice. it before. Though. I was in two wheel drive the whole way. Just as we were getting settled in, we could see the snow line coming down the mountain, and it started snowing heavily again on our camp. getting hungry I have a plan we're gonna use the Jackery to power my instant pot and make instant pot mac and cheese it's gonna be insane watch this I've been trying to up my cooking game lately since I'm spending so much time on the road this is a bit of an experiment All right, so we're gonna run the Instant Pot to make mac and cheese off the Jackery 1000. The Jackery's at 84% right now, so we're gonna see, after we're done cooking, how much juice is left. Uh, this thing is supposed to be about 74% more efficient than like a stove or an oven, so we'll see how it goes. You can see we're running about 850 watts draw on the Jackery. Pot is pressurizing. We're down a few percent going good so you can see now that the uh, pot is pressurized and cooking we're down to 50% battery from 74% but it's not drawing any power while it's cooking What's up, Dave? It smells like steamy mac and cheese <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah look at that What's going in there? Uh, a whole bag of cheddar cheese. Double double cheddar cheese. Double cheddar. Two uh, thumbs. Two <laughs> thumbs and a spoon. A giant spoon too. Yeah. So that's how you can make some really quick. Five minute macaroni and cheese, homemade, using the Jackery 1000 and an Instapot. This meal has been sponsored by Jackery. Ron just brought over this giant slab of cedar. Oh yeah, good one. 
Oh, it smells so good too. Yeah. We got the fire reflector going, so it's nice and toasty in here. Just makes such a huge difference. Pretty sure I've got mine disabled. Huh? I'm pretty sure. All right, guys, it's morning. As you can see, the weather has changed. It is pouring rain, and we are taking refuge under the Easy Up shelter. Uh, Casey cooked up some pretty tasty bacon and egg bagels for breakfast, but my lens was all fogged up, so I couldn't film it. Now, we're just trying to get packed up, and then uh, we're gonna get out of here because we're getting soaked. Just move on, so tied down. There's nothing to cry. I got long hairs and some beat up shoes. I got this real bad case of them trying to forget you. And I'm running around not knowing where I'm going. So, who would want to stay inside on a weekend like this? Not me, that's for sure. You can sit around and let life pass you by because it's cold out, or you can prepare yourself and head out into the elements and have an adventure. I know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll see you out here next time. Thanks for watching guys. We have merch available at dirtyanddangerous.com if you'd like to help us keep doing these trips every week and I'll see you next time. Every time I saw you silently hoping you'd stay